<laughs> now, we, uh, now we come to a comedian who no longer wishes to be identified with some of the fabulous characters that made him famous. So here he is, Harry, loads of money, Enfield. <laughs> Harry, that's right, isn't it? You've, you've killed off uh, loads of money and, and Stavros. Yes, I have. We're never going to hear them right. again? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. Well, you might do a little bit on Cheshire. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. That's oh, loads man, of money, man. isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. Now, just to... Uh, you're like my mother. You've never watched any of the programmes I've ever done. I'm a bit like your mother, yes. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able you to... are my mother. Yes. <laughs> You'll be able to tell us apart soon, I'd have thought. Um, <laughs> but uh, let's resume your career. Not going right back yeah. to your mother, necessarily, but... Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, you've always been a great mimic. Huh? You started off uh, on Spitting Image. You did a lot of the voices on Spitting yes, Image. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's right. Which were the ones yeah. you uh, you had to mouth the rubber to? Oh, um, well, a lot of the Conservatives, really. I started with uh, Leon Britton, I think, was the first one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of, it's just that was all Sorry. it was, really. <laughs> it's quite I you're just clearing you your know. throat. Do I get yeah. <laughs> And but, who else did you do? Um, yeah, uh, David Steele, uh, Douglas Hurd, who you mentioned before. Yes. And, uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Geoffrey Archer. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Jimmy Graves. Jimmy Graves, another King Conservative Stan. politician, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he's standing next week, isn't he? A few he? people like that. Yeah. 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 And was that Thank good fun? You. Did you enjoy it? It was good fun, yeah. It was, it was just sort of one day a week. It was a Saturday job, and it was sort of better yeah. paid than working in Tesco. So. Right. So you're working in Tesco during the week? I was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but where, where do, you do, do you get your voices from? Do you just sort of uh, sit and concentrate on people or do you just sort no, of... No, not really. It's, it's more sort of like, you know, if you have a dinner party or something and mm. the next day you remember something about the dinner party. I don't usually, no. <laughs> no well, you don't. <laughs> we have jollier dinner parties around my way than you do, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you must come to my dinner sometime. <laughs> well, thank you, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'll I'm only joking, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so at a dinner party you, you listen to people's voices. Yeah, you? you listen to their voices and then... Well, no, you don't. You just have a nice dinner party. Then, <laughs> then you go home and go to sleep. Then. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is uh, riveting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a yeah. bit, isn't it? Uh, and then the next day you sort of... When you're telling people, you, s you remember the sort of gist of the din din dinner party, not <laughs> the dinner party. Yeah. And... Uh, and you sort of tell them that, and it's a bit like that, that you sort of might see Douglas Heard for ages on the telly, and then you think, well, what did he sound like? You don't sort of sit there concentrating on you it. You think what he sounded like at your dinner party, obviously. Yeah, that's you do, so, yeah. yeah. Well, but you, but you've turned this sort of mimicry to loads of you. Like you do a lot of voices on adverts and stuff, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Do you make loads of money out of that? that <laughs> loads of money. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to... Yeah. Well, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to remember. No, no, it. yeah. it's very nice. I get that all the time, though, you know, everything I do, you know, I order a meal at a restaurant and say, I bet you want loads of food, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> and I have to sort of laugh as if it's the first time I've yeah. ever heard it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it that was brilliant, mate. <laughs> you know. well, I wish you'd tried tonight. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that's a great yeah. thing, that you put a sort of whole concept into the language, didn't you? That's kind of sums up well, the 1980s, almost, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know, really. I mean, uh, you know... I didn't invent him, you know, they were around those people and yeah. I just did him and mm. then uh, people took the phrase, you know, right. but, it, uh, but I only actually did him on television for half an hour, for mm. ten three minute slots yeah. and uh, then the papers got hold of it and it sort of appeared that I'd done this massive thing. Mm. But really, it was just ten minutes of mucking about. So, what are you going on to now? What are your new characters? Uh, I'm doing a series for the BBC in uh, oh, yeah. Not uh, Channel 4. November. Yeah. No, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> no, November and yeah. uh, with about 15, 16 new characters that we've been working on for about a year now. It, well, who have you got in that? What sort of characters? Um, well, lots of different people that I hope you're going to love. A yeah. um, couple of DJs, in fact, uh, called Dave Nice and Mike Smash, who work for Radio Fab FM. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they talk about the news a lot. You know, they're quite up on current affairs. They sort of, you know, mm. things like, uh, did you see John Pilger's thing on Cambodia? I thought it was great that... Uh, Pol Pot bloke, and then there's the Khmer Rouge, and they're Barbie, aren't they? They should work at Radio Fab FM, I reckon. <laughs> uh, and talking of Pol Pot, whatever happened to the Flower Pop men? I don't know. Uh, they're sort of, uh, you know, typical yeah. radio DJs. Really. So what are, what are the characters you've got in it? 
Well, we got some sort of contemporary Euro characters called the Euro Men, who's a boy called Vincent who comes from uh, uh, Amsterdam, <laughs> and he's a bit of an old hippie and thinks 1992 is mega cool because uh, <laughs> everyone, like, the whole Euro Parliament, is going to be turned into a big squat, and everyone will have white bicycles and can smoke blow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's got a mate from Russia who I play called. Um, What's he called? Uh, Sergei, he's, yeah. called, he's sort of from Russia. And, and, and Gunter thinks he's his greatest guy from Russia. You know, he's out from the Iron Curtain. Yeah. And uh, all I'm interested in is pretty girls. <laughs> <laughs> I like pretty girls. Yeah. Yeah, yes. So um, he's a bit thick. Really. <laughs> Have you got one that's a little brother or something? I, I read yeah, the Daily I've got Mirror, a brother called uh, Little Brother, yeah, who's 13. He basically, he's always around when he want to uh, shag your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Is this at your dinner parties? Yeah. <laughs> I'm warming to your dinner he parties. He sort of turns yeah. up. He turns up and says, uh, hi, how's it going? You know, yeah. he's sort of one of them, you know. <laughs> ah, bloody hell, Baldrick, you're snogging. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so is this going to be like a sketch show? Is that? Yeah, well, it's a bit like, uh, I'm not allowed to say this, producer doesn't let me, but I call it the Dick Emery show, Mark, too. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> why doesn't the producer, why do you say it's like Dick Emery? Because he thinks it takes it down market, but, uh, <laughs> but I think it is brilliantly down market. You know? yeah. it's, uh, it's basically lots of characters that we'll do every week as long yeah. as people like them. And you say, oh, you are awful. Yeah, like no, that. we <laughs> don't do that. And unfortunately, I don't dress up as any women either. Oh, uh, no. Well, I would look forward to that. Anyway, this is yeah, great hearing from good. you. The new Dick Emery, Harry Enfield. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Now, um... <laughs> don't cheat. <laughs> We've got to move on. Um...